Welcome back to the Son of Anarchy YouTube channel. This is the third time I've tried to make this video, but so we'll see how we go this time. The Calibri is back! Why three attempts, and all of them did fail, is if you watch, the audio dropped out as I went over a bump. Now these wires were on the bike when I had the accident. So I don't know whether it's the wires, or the audio pack, which was also an accident, this camera wasn't. This is one I replaced that one with because th there was an audio problem with the other camera, which now I'm not totally sure. The audio on the first try, once I started the bike up, the bike was too noisy to hear anything I was saying, so that one failed. The second one, because I didn't turn the camera off and turn it back on, after I unplugged it, there was an audio problem, had no sound. The third one, the tour around the bike has worked, but the ride there and back didn't. That's why I think it's the audio pack or the wires. Not the helmet, because I used the helmet the other day. Now what I was trying to say, this is the accident. QBE have been great to deal with. They've paid out over $80,000 for repairs. They wrote the two CVOs off. They repaired my bike. They're still waiting on Damo's parts to finish his bike. I don't know what's going on with Lee and Dave. They repaired my bike, they paid out for my apparel that got ripped in the accident. I can't claim any electrical stuff, my cameras or the leads or whatever. But that's okay. Chibi E are chasing Vic Roads for compensation over these motorcycle accidents because they know it's the road condition that Vic Roads knew about. There's been several other accidents beforehand and QBE found out all about them and they are chasing Vic Roads for compensation. This is the Killer B, my 2023 Knights of Special RH975. That's because it's got a 975 Revolution Max engine. I've done a few upgrades on this bike in appearance wise, not performance wise, because there's, there's nothing available at the moment. The first one is I've put all this adversary with the orange highlights, anodized highlights on it. Velocity stack, forward controls. Rear pegs, sissy bar. This is the sundowner seat, both of them. I've added this little tool bag on the back. I added a little swing arm bag in here. As you about to see, that is marks from where it was scraping along the road in the accident. I should go fix that with a bit of black boot polish. This peg here was scraped on here. That's been replaced. I believe they replaced the shocker. These are new forward controls. The battery box was staved in. New grip, new bar end, new mirror. New handlebars, new risers. That's the damage now. I've changed to the Mini 8s now. They did have the mirrors underneath, which look good, but totally useless. Couldn't see a thing. So that's better up the top. You see, I've got a GoPro mount there. That's where I'm on the camera from. This is the audio pack. Quad rock phone mount. Now what I didn't know, is I had this bike wired up for heated jackets, this comes standard with heated jacket connectors for it. There's one I've put out, that one's up under there.
Get some of the plug in, get some of those both for sitting that I never knew about. And you can see the fuel tank under the seat. I'll tell you a bit about the bike now. This is not a fuel tank, this is just a cover, just an airbox cover. When you start this bike, this is just the most common problem I ever see with all the YouTubers that do reviews on the bike. They never start it properly. You turn this switch on here. Let the dash do what it's got to do. There it comes on. Now you can start it. Which is the button in the middle here. Just press that. I'm going to turn it off to show you the controls because it's too noisy. So this has a lot of technology. So you have cruise control, which you control by here. The menu, just headed grips if you have them. I don't have them. This is control to control the dash. This is the home page. So that's gone to maps, which you get through your Harley app. Press the home page again, so it takes you to music. Uh, my headset's not connected up at the moment. The controls for the music and your phone are off here. So that's your volume up and down. You control those things up there. That's good. Here's the bike, so these two. Yeah, tire pressure. This is your water temperature, this is your voltage, this is the diagnostics. Now, if they get pushing it, I found just before that while the motor's not running, it won't do anything. This is your settings, so that's your general appearance. So you can reset the trip. Just to date, sync with your Harley app, which I've done just before. Adjust your clock. Clock format, unit, European language. That's your home. On this side you have a mode button. Press that. That's rain mode. Press it again. That's road mode. That's sports mode. There is two programmable modes you can put in yourself. But if you go back into the settings. Ride customization. Ride modes. So then you can do custom A or custom B. I'm not worried about them. So the upgrade I've done on the bike is the channel bar. There's a mini apes for this. At first I didn't like them, but I'm now getting used to them. This is a really big thing I've just put on. This is my SMS clip on muffler, the very national four and a half inch. The only problem I find with it. It's because of the Cadillac and the converter, it gets very hot in this area and the water, dirty hot water sprays up off the tyre and lands on the exhaust and bakes in there. I've still got it on my chrome exhaust shields. For anyone interested, 
I'm John M. Whitey and Paul from Hogs, Cogs and Two Your Flogs podcast for their Brass Monkey ride up to Empire Harley Davidson and Bendigo. They're staying overnight. But they're doing a recording of a podcast at Empire Harley. Everyone who's a fan of their podcast is welcome to come along. I'll leave a little banner here that's telling you the date and times 